Hi, Rob Shellhub with Monroe Live, coming from CES 2024. We're at Hemiway Blake, joined by Todd. Hi. Todd, nice meeting you. Thank you for nice joining the channel. Nice to you as well, thank you. So tell me a little bit about your bikes and uh, what All can right. we expect? So a lot of new stuff happening this year. Okay. Um, we have 10 bikes that are going to be hitting the market very soon, um, February, March, and then as we continue on through the year. Um, they are going to be uh, produced directly from Hemiway, uh, designed directly by Hemiway, so there's not going to be another company out there that has the same kind okay. of style of bike. Um, so the first kind of series that we're starting with is going to be the family series. Okay. Um, this little bike right here is actually going to be um, called the C1 and that is more of a balanced bike it's motorized it has a 350 watt motor uh, 36 volt battery with 10 amp hours okay um, it have hydraulic brakes and they go around to up to 15 miles per hour with three different modes uh, we actually released this bike in October of last year, so it's already been on the market for a couple months. Okay. Um, we sold out very quickly. Within a month, we sold out our container, and now we have more hitting the market as we speak. Okay. And how long does a bike like this take to charge um, in the range that you would get from a bike like this? So the range that you're going to get on this bike is going to be between around 40 to 45 miles per charge. Okay. Um, charging time from completely dead to completely full should take around three to four hours. Okay, is there a special charger that you need or is it just a regular uh, a standard US household plug? So our chargers are going to be a standard household plug. It's a 110 volt plug directly into the wall, um, but each battery kind of has their own um, port. So this one will only be recommended to charge with our batteries uh, for, for safety precautions. Okay, okay. So, so this is the, the, the kid bike and this is for the parent as well? Correct. So okay. this is going to be our new cargo bike. It is going to be called the C3. Um, it is going to have your front basket, your rear rack. Um, this is the prototype version, so it will look a little different in production. Okay. Um, we're going to have the rear rack actually welded onto the frame. We're going to be able to extend that back and offer a bunch of different accessories that will be able to utilize it more so as a cargo bike. So um, is this bike more targeted for like uh, delivery of? Uh... It absolutely could be. Okay. Um, I think that you're going to be more on the same page as kind of what Aventon has with their Abound, um, what Rad came out with with their Rad Wagon. Okay. Um, so you're going to be able to fit two kids on the back. You're going to be able to do whatever you really want with it. Okay. Um, this is going to be a 20 amp hour battery. So you're looking at 60 to 80 miles per charge. Um, it is going to be a 750 watt rear hub motor. Okay. And this model is now going to be uh, a torque sensor bike. So we are kind of stepping out of the cadence sensor market. We will have some bikes with cadence still, um, but the newer ones that we're releasing are going to be all torque sensor, which seems to be more popular now. So, so, so pedal assist, and, and again, on this one, charge time of this one is Charge what? time is going to be around for maybe five hours. Okay. Um, it's a three amp charger, so it should get the job done in about five hours. Okay, and again, it's pedal assist, so you can either use the motor or not. Correct, yep, you have pedal assist, and then you have throttle as well on our bikes. Okay. Okay. And the, and the one above it is just a off-road bike, it looks um, like? Yeah, so this is kind of the, uh, the newest addition as well. Um, you're going to have kind of like a moped style, motorized bike look style. Um, it, it's, it's sleek. Um, I actually rode it around a little bit yesterday. It's really nice. Um, it has the upgraded inverted air forks on there, so it's super smooth. You do have a rear shock as well underneath the seat, so it is a full suspension bike. Um, it is going to be the same battery as the C3 and majority of our other bikes as well. It's a 20 amp hour. Okay. Um, they have the new 21700 cells in them. So we are going away from the 18650s, which die a lot faster and don't give you as much range. Okay. Um, 750 watt motor on this as well, um, as well as a torque sensor. So, so on, on the batteries, are they made... Uh, is Hemiway making their own batteries we or are do. they? do. Okay. Yeah, so we purchased the cells directly from Samsung and LG, and okay. then we have a team that actually assembles and um, produces our own batteries. Same thing with the, uh, with the motors? Correct. Okay. So this is going to be our new upgraded version. So if you guys have a following with Hemiway, we came out with a new commuter bike last year called the Hemiway Rambler. Okay. Um, this is going to be the upgraded version of that. So 
Uh, we typically had three versions of the old Rambler. This is now going to be a fourth version. This is now going to be a full suspension, uh, step through commuter bike with a mid drive. So okay. there is nobody else on the market with anything like this. Um, the nice thing about having your suspension down here is Technically, if this was a hardtail, you would have to add a suspension seat post here for full suspension, which now increases your height of the seat, which only kind of targets a higher uh, height of Taller customer. Person, yeah. Correct. So now with it being here, you can actually drop the seat all the way down here and you get full suspension and you have a much shorter rider. Okay. And, and battery's the same, motor the same? So How does no, this change? This one is completely a revamp. Okay. So um, we upgraded the brakes uh, to Shimano hydraulic brakes. They were Tektro before. Um, we have an integrated display actually right here in the, in the stem. So as you can see, it's pretty sleek. Um, you have a nine speed, which most bikes on the market are seven or eight speed. This is nine, so it gives you a little bit more range um, or ratio gearing. Uh, this is a 15 amp hour battery, so not as large as the 20. Okay. Um, still, you're looking at between 50 to 55 miles per charge. Uh, this motor is going to be Hemiway's newest. It's a 500 watt uh, mid-drive motor, has 120 newton meters of torque, um, which gives you a much smoother ride. You can climb a lot easier, um, and your battery life is going to last you a lot more. And what's the top speed of a bike like this? Um, you're looking at, on this bike, around 25. So okay. that's going to be the majority of our bikes between 20 and 28. Um, some of them are right in the center, which would be this one. Okay. I see you have something that looks more like a mountain bike for the enthusiast. Is that what that's designed we for? We do. That is kind of exciting because um, as of Right now, Hemiway really only geared towards the 1500 to 2000. We do have the Cobra Pro, which is four, but we are coming out with bikes to where you can buy a bike from one company for your entire family, rather than having to go to different brands to get different types of models. Okay. Um, so these mountain bikes right here, yeah. uh, we'll start with the green one. Okay. So the green one is going to be, uh, carbon fiber frame, it's got full suspension, uh, your chain ring in the front is really small, your cassette in the back is really large which allows you for a really, really, really low range uh, gearing on that so you're going to be able to climb no problem. Um, the, the upgraded derailleur we have the dropper post. We have um, currently your display is on the handlebars. That's actually going to go into the frame. So this will go away. We're going to have it directly on top of the frame integrated into that. Um, full suspension, a lot of really high end parts on this one. Retail is going to be probably between five and six thousand. Okay. Um, and it should be here probably by summertime. By summertime? Yes. Nice. And, and comparatively, weight is a big deal for mountain biking. How does this weigh compared to like a traditional? So I want to say that this bike is 23 kilos, which puts you right under 50 pounds. Okay. So it's still kind of heavy, um, but that is on the lighter side of electric bikes. There's other electric bikes out there right now kind of in this same range um, and they're 60 plus pounds. And so this is actually a lower end using carbon fiber components. Okay. Um, but that's that's the the low, the quote unquote low end version of and the And then the blue bike. bike is the? The blue bike right here is gonna be just top of the line everything. Okay. So this bike is most likely gonna retail between 13 and $15,000, um, which is, I know a really, really high number, but when you look at each component and what we used, we handpicked everything. Um, the front forks on here are $2,000 alone. So you still have a 15 amp hour battery, um, we are using a Bafang M600, which has, uh, it's a mid-drive, 120 newton meters of torque, um, but every component on this thing is just, I mean, top of the line. Top of the and, line? Yeah, 203 millimeter disc brakes, um, SRAM quad piston, uh, calipers, just electric shifting. I mean, this thing is just... just top of the line. Yes. In, in, as far as like 
range and speed between the green bike and the purple bike so here is very match, similar? Yeah, so they're the same motor, same uh, battery, same frame. We just changed the components um, from the two. So you're looking at probably between 20 and 25 miles per hour. Okay. Um, and then the range on this is probably around 50 miles or so as well. Is the weight similar between the two bikes as well? They are, yes. Okay. Uh, what other exciting information do you have for us or bikes? All right, so this is the new Cobra Pro. Um, same retail price as our old one, but uh, just a much, much, much higher end bike. So uh, and your target audience for a bike like this is? So it's, it retails for $39.99. Um, we have a, a lot of hunters right now using this bike. We have mountain bikers, uh, all terrain. So I personally own this exact bike and I take it to the beach, I take it to the mountains, I take it anywhere and everywhere. So this will not be able to get you stranded anywhere. You're gonna be able to take it everywhere with you. Um, we have a Bafang M620 uh, Ultra, which is gonna be a thousand watt mid-drive, 160 newton meters of torque, just a beast of an engine. Um, we have upgraded front shocks on these, so they were inverted air forks before. Okay. We just went a, a grade above that. Um, they're just a lot more durable having this crossbar right there. Um, we upgraded the rear shock. We upgraded the chain ring to a smaller chain ring, which will allow you to climb easier. We upgraded the rear cassette. We upgraded the, the rear derailleur. Um, the, uh, Is this on the market? So it will be uh, either late February or early March. Um, like I said, retail is going to be identical to what our old bike had, but this has just a ton of upgrades. Two more quick things about this bike. Yeah. We did upgrade to the Tektro Dorado um, quad piston hydraulic brakes. So um, it's going to give you a lot more stopping power as well as changing our rotors. So we have a 203 millimeter rotor in the back and then we increased the size in the rear as well to 2.3 millimeters thick, um, but it's still 180 millimeter diameter. Very good. Um, we are actually upgrading our old Cobra as well. Um, so that's going to be the hub drive version of this. Um, it's going to retail for $23.99, which is what our old Cobra was uh, selling for. The new D7, which is the Cobra, um, actually has the front and rear suspension of the old Cobra Pro. So you're getting those upgraded components on the new Cobra um, at the same cost as what it was before. And we went through and, and revamped a few of the other uh, specs on the bike as well. So excited for these two new releases. Um, I think customers are gonna be really happy with all that they're gonna be getting extra for the same amount of money. Exciting things happening here at Himo Yeah. Todd, again, thank you very much for joining us on Mineral Live. Thank you. Best of luck to you and the thank channel. Thank you. But can I do one more? Of course you can. Okay, all right. So we have one more. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Sorry. that's all right. Yeah. So, okay, this right here is now considered the D5 Pro. So this is the old Zebra step through. Um, this has the mid drive motor now. So okay. instead of a hub drive, you have the mid drive. Mid -drive. It's gonna hit the market at 1999, which is insane for a mid-drive bike. 20 amp hour battery, 60 to 80 miles per charge, upgraded front display. We're upgrading the stems to having an adjustable neck on there right out of the gate. So that way people don't have to change that out to make it fit them. It's just one simple screw and they're able to actually adjust it. Yep. Um, so. Uh, a couple of exciting other things that we don't have these bikes with us, but the same frame. So um, our original Zebra, uh, we are going to be keeping the cadence sensor version. However, we are now going to be hitting the market with our torque sensor version. So we're going to be allowing our customers to kind of have three different options for almost all of our bikes. And that's the hope is we're going to allow people to choose kind of what level they want to buy at sure. depending on the components used on the bike. Do you, do you foresee going to a family style of bike with all the lines that you have? So we have 
these are the 10 new bikes that we're releasing now. Okay. But stay tuned, we have more in uh, the works. We'll probably be releasing more video content in March or April. Uh, we are not gonna stop the wheels turning now. We're gonna continue to be uh, in on top where we were before. So. And if somebody wanted to purchase one of these bikes, how do they go about doing this? So we actually have a dealer network of about 400 dealers. Not all dealers stock all bikes, so it's the best time to call them before going to a dealer. Um, but we will also be offering them online directly through our website, Hemiway bike.com as well. Awesome. Todd, again, right. thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Best I of luck to you. It. Thank you so much. Thank you.